But the temperature in the low 70s, if you can believe that here in early February, just almost ideal conditions for softball here. See, it's a 20-second pitch count, but the batter has got to be ready at the 10-second mark. That's what that speed does. It creates havoc. And Cat Rodriguez picked it up, but then threw it away at first base. Pleasance. Rips one deep to right center field. It is up, up, up and away. You can pack her up and kiss that baby goodbye. The second row of the right center field bleachers is the deposit spot. And Taylor Pleasance now has 10 runs batted in in two games plus one at bat. What a start. What a start for the senior. Such a valuable part of this team. You know, when it explodes off the bat, it's a no-doubter. That was a second-row deposit position. She, but she can also go to right field if necessary. That ball's hit well, but gobbled up by Compson at third, at first base, and that retires the side. Stance takes that one off the elbow or forearm. Desiree Martinez is on deck. Griggs coming on or rather Briggs coming on and can't get it. That one just cued off the end of the bat and a base hit for Ramirez. Two base runners now. <laughs> they have. That's one of the signature parts of this ballpark as Mark Martinez couldn't catch up with the heat. Lynch needed a strikeout and she got one. This will be the end of the inning if Pleasant squeezes it and she does. Ooh, that didn't have a chance of ever being a good pitch. This went Rudy straight to takes the back. it in the back. A ball and two strikes on Lynch. Ooh, that's driven. Let's see if anybody can catch up with it. It's off the glove of the center fielder. This one is not caught by her teammate. And that's going to be a base hit after a long gallop by Kylie Griggs. LSU's lead runner, Rudity, read that in the dirt and took off. And Lynch had to wait till Rudity committed before she also moved up. She has that slightly split grip. Reaches for that one. Shortstop comes up firing with a good arm. Hernandez let it loose. Coffey, who's very swift, is nipped at first base. Once again, the payoff pitch. That's way off the mark. That's a good at bat by Braden. Cat with a K, Rodriguez. Gets the bunt down. Coffee will throw it to Ooh, first here. base. Here's the throwback. Pleasance, or rather, Coffee is covering. Wow. Did they get her? Yes, they did. Beautiful. My goodness, the athleticism of Coffee to return to the base and take that perfect throw from one corner to the other. Wasn't it? Who was With covering first base? With the strike to first. And boy, was that a big defensive play yep. because. The that next was... batter comes up and drives a single through the left side. In the first for LSU, a changeup has popped up, and Pleasance doesn't have to move much. Newland with a patient at bat earns a walk. The hitter's timing. That one stayed upstairs, and the peg down is not in time. Newland on the run gets into scoring position. Ground ball, Ooh. glove by the second baseman, backhanded side. What a play, but oh. she's safe. The ball dribbled loose oh. at first base. And Rodriguez made one whale of a play to get it over to first base. Runner moving, the peg is high, but it may be in time, and it is. Pitcher's got a good arm. And it's in play here, three balls, two strikes. There's Paul Good at four. bat, good at bat. Petty waits for that changeup and rams it into center field. The runner rounds third, and she will score standing up. And Carly Petty is a heartbreaker. <laughs> that was a shot. I'm not quite sure why Griggs, I mean, she got it so quick, but then she kind of just took her time getting it in, so. Ground ball for the third time to the left side. This time, Hernandez goes to Rodriguez for the force out against Minnesota in the last game of that tournament. 
Now, when's the last time you've seen a baseball team play at 8.30 in the morning? Never. Silly. That's why she's a cut above so many players. She's off and running. The peg is off the mark. She stays on her feet, headed to third base now with a dive and gets up, but won't try to advance the final 60. No, but that ball, ball went out of bounds. Yeah, it went in the dugout. So that ball is an overthrow and it allows Griggs to score, or Briggs to score. Hit the first one of the season for the Tigers. Another ground ball to the right side, turned into an out by Thompson of the circle. Ground oh. ball hit sharply and snared by Coffey. Well done. That ball got to Coffey like a laser, but she reacted. She stabbed that glove to her left and came up with it. Pleasance gives way to the left fielder. Newland is there, and there are two gone. But Lynch is an out away from recording her first victory as a Tiger, and she gets it. She does. There's a slight smile on her face. Six strikeouts in the game. It's the third straight two-hit shutout recorded by LSU pitching. And here we go on this Saturday afternoon. LSU will be in action again tonight against Memphis, and that'll close out the LSU Invitational. And the first pitch gets away from Chapin and tags Griggs. Slow. Good. Did she go? Yes, sir. So Hamilton on a half swing. The 3-1 pitch to Ramirez. Nubbed off the end of the bat. That has a lot of English on it, but Chafin is up to the task as she feels it and gets it over to first base. She's the fourth head coach in pit history. Coffee waits for the walk, and it turned out to be and the pitch, Coffee on the move. This is chopped to the left side, and it is bobbled for the moment by the shortstop. She would have had no play anywhere, and that's a legitimate infield hit. This is the 201st game that Griggs has participated in. Coffee on the move, safe at third on a really close play. Pleasant showed the bunt to pull up the corner. Pleasant ties into one. This is hit deep to center field. It stays in the ballpark. It's caught on the warning track by Griggs. And moving in from third is Coffee easily, and that ball was deep enough to allow Sierra Briggs to take third base on the tag. Newland has been such a mainstay player for the Tigers. And she drives that one into right field, a two hopper between the second baseman and the shortstop, and Newland comes through with an RBI single, and the Tigers move their lead to two to nothing. That's a little bit tight, and the inning continues as Ruderty draws a base on balls. Popped up. Shortstop Hernandez is calling for it. She's got it where the dirt and the grass meet. Everybody catches oh, something from Mardi Gras. Throw me something, mister, and I'll catch it, right? Everybody catches something from Mardi Gras. Well done. They didn't have that then. They didn't have foul balls? Um, I'm sure they did, but I don't think there was concession statements. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the superstitious cult, which, oh my God, uh, Pitt is a hit away from tying this game. The pitch. A call third strike. Painted that corner. Just below the letters on the outside edge. Swing and a miss on an elevated pitch. Got her with a big rise ball out of the zone. Raylan Chafin strikes out the side. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Baseball games are scheduled to open the season at Alex Box Stadium, Skip Burtman Field. And by the way, they are all afternoon games. Great thinking on his part, I think. He's doing with moving up his games. Let's see if this drops. It oh. is, and it's gonna Watch roll. Watch this. Let's see if she sends her. Nope. It is a double. Anna Carson stops, or the pinch runner stops at third. She blasts one into right. It's caught on the run by Braden, the runner from third tags, and the throw to the plate is not in time. Uh, a I, sacrifice fly. I'm gonna tell you, if you're a little girl, you, you needed to watch that base running. Control the Tigers, but they scratched enough runs. Did a call, call that a third strike. strike. Grounded sharply, it comes up into the midsection of the second baseman. 
Got her with a changeup. Rodriguez able to get it done from second base. She checks her swing and draws a base on balls. They've got it and they're holding it up. And to them, that's a that's a you know a 10 carat diamond. That's when I knew that our sport had made it too, when you saw the little boys come to the game sure. with their gloves, and they loved it. Lynch Rams run right back from whence it came, and the runners can only advance 60 feet. That ball was sizzled right back through the circle, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. The make it happen pitch, the 2-2 on its way. A fly ball to shallow left, and that oh. drops for a base hit. One Tiger scores, and Petty finds the grass with a blooper in left center for more. What a play by the shortstop. Hernandez leaving her feet, laying out to her right, and with that left hand crossing over, makes the play. That saved at least a run. There's ball four, and a run is walked home. A four-pitch pass with the bases loaded. Pleasance lays off the pitch and draws the base on balls, and in the process, collects her 12th run batted in of the season. The Tigers. Can yes, she has been. Can catch. She hits this one high and deep to right field. That'll score one. The right fielder's got it. And the run scores from third. Newland flies to right, plenty deep enough to allow Petty to score. Gutierrez rams it off the glove of the second baseman. She picks it up and gets it to first for the out. It's been a solid performance, the 3-2 pitch. That one's high and away. For certain, a walk. You're like you got a seven-run lead. Let's just throw strikes here. Coffee does a nice job of moving to her left, picking that one up on the infield. It's here, the 0-2 pitch. Oh, no. Brings it in tight and hits her on the left shoulder. Ground ball left side. Pleasance has it, throws it over to Gutierrez, and this game is over. The Tigers beat Pitt for the second time. They have a 5-0 and now a 7-0 shutout victory over Pitt in this tournament. Pitt goes to 2-2 two and two as it heads back home to continue its six-week road trip.